Kings County Private Barrel Bourbon Whiskey. Now this is not a rye bourbon and it's not a weeded bourbon. Give me five minutes and I'll tell you why you should buy this or not. Kings County Distillery. Private Barrel Straight Bourbon Whiskey, 45% alcohol, 750 milliliters. Now, this is not your normal bourbon whiskey. Why is that? Its mash bill is 80% corn, 20% UK, United Kingdom, malt. Where's the rye? Where's the wheat? They're not in this bourbon, but it is a bourbon whiskey and it is produced by Kings County in New York. Now this particular bottle is a private barrel uh, selected by Sealbox. Uh, I have a quarterly installment, you say, or subscription, where Sealbox sends me really unusual bourbons and whiskeys, and this, I think, tops the cake of the, uh, the most unusual one that I've gotten yet. I got that today, and I wanted to right away make a video about it. So, no rye, no wheat. You know, I'm not a big fan of high rye bourbons. Not most of them. I do have a couple that I like. And really, don't like any weeded whiskey, really, that I've ever tried it, or wheat whiskey. But a good weeded bourbon, a good low rye bourbon, yeah, I'm a big fan of both of those. So, we're going to start the clock, put five minutes on it, and see exactly what this Kings County is like. So let's hit the clock here and go. All right. Availability. Well, it is a private select from Sealbox. So uh, if you're interested in purchasing this, I would contact Sealbox. Uh, Blake is the owner. He's a really nice guy. I've talked to him several times. And I think if he can offer that to you outside of the subscription service, I believe you will. Now, you may have to subscribe. I don't know what the availability of this outside of the subscription is. I got this through a quarterly subscription. They also have a monthly subscription. I just don't have that much money. But the quarterly, Blake does send me some very interesting bourbons and whiskeys. And I will tell you, this is probably the most interesting bourbon that I've received yet from Sealbox. So I I have high hopes for it. I've heard good things about it, and I hope it's as good as people say it is. And we do have a link in our description for $25 off, I think, on your first purchase. A lot of my viewers have taken advantage of it. Sealbox does not pay me for this commercial. I paid for this bourbon. So, aroma. I did make some notes. I try to make this a little quicker, which is hard for me. Wow, I got um, fresh cherries and vanilla and licorice of all things. Cherries, vanilla, and licorice. A little sweet, but not candy sweet. Cheers. Well, that is definitely different. It... It tastes like a bourbon, but like halfway to a whiskey, halfway to a scotch, a sweet scotch, and halfway to other whiskeys that I like that don't have that corn percentage. At 80%, it is a little corn forward, but not so much that it tastes like a corn whiskey. Me, I was getting brown sugar and that cherries came through, and then a like toasted marshmallow on the mid palate. Uh, it not it, it's sweet but not overly sweet. I think it's perfect for 90 proof. Um, I think you could enjoy it as a sipper all day long. So I like the taste. I really did. For the finish, I get the I smelled vanilla in the aroma. I really didn't get it in the palate, but I'm definitely get it in the finish along with some nutmeg and dried fruit. It's uh, moderate lasting uh, at that proof. Uh, 
it kind of stays with you a little while. It doesn't get washed away. And I would say it's a good finish. Not a great finish, but a good, and I mean good finish. That gets us to value. Well, I'm on this quarterly subscription plan where I pay basically $79 a quarter, and I get one bourbon or whiskey a quarter, free shipping, no additional fees, and I think it's a great buy. Now, I went on the website of uh, Kings County, I had to think about it a second, and they sell their normal straight bourbon, which is a version of this, for $69. And I paid $79 in my subscription, so I think I got a good deal, a good value. Um, would I want to pay more than $79? Maybe a little bit. I don't think I'd go above $90 if I found it in a store. But $79 to $89? Oh, yeah. I would definitely buy it for that price. So we're uh, out of time. I didn't uh, give my little beep there. But we had our five minutes. So it comes down to my rating, my score. What do I think of it? I'm going to give this four and one half stars. I think it is wonderful. It's different enough that it separates itself from other bourbons and whiskeys I have. It's smooth enough that uh, uh, I get no burn, I get no uh, ethanol. Uh, it's sweet enough that it satisfies my palate. Uh, it's not overly dry. It's not overly fruity. It seems to have a very good balance for only having two components, corn and malt. English malt, by the way. Kings County, definitely a buy. So we hope you will like this video, will comment and share. And if you've had a Kings County, any of them, let me know what you think of them. It is a little different. It may not meet everyone's palate, but tonight it certainly satisfied mine. So as always, please drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.